OK, so Team OTB are taking on Triathai this June. It's all in partnership with Whoop, the personalised digital fitness and health coach that helps you unlock your inner potential. Check out whoop.com for more. Delighted to say the race director for Triathai is John Walnut, and he's on the line now. John, good morning to you, and good afternoon to your other. How are you? Good. I'm good, thanks, you. Um, so what can we expect? We're doing the beginner's course because I think maybe if we were to do anything other than that, uh, things might get a little bit hairy for us. Oh, I think you've you've some past form as far as I remember in DCT. So um, uh, with Tri uh, I think you're looking at uh, the Tri event. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in that one there, you have a 250 meter swim, a 20 K bike and a 4 K run in that sequence, swim, bike, run. Um, the swim is in the barrow. Um, it's a very safe environment. Um, it's actually for the 250, it's all downstream. Um, and what we use is we, ro- we use a rolling start. So for the tri event, I think we have around 400 people taking part. Um, the majority of them will be first timers. So there'll be an awful lot of people doing their first triathlon. Um, and we use a rolling start where the timing mat is placed at the ramp as you go into the water. So you each get an individual starting time. Um, so nobody's at a disadvantage if they go in at the back or at the middle or at the front. Um, and yeah, it's a 250 meter down downstream swim, um, more or less in a direct line. You, you, you don't have to take any turns. You just swim um, diagonally sort of down towards the other bank uh, under the bridge and, and out onto a pontoon. Uh, where you legs it and, and run into transition. Okay. Um, and then where does the cycle take you? So the cycle takes us then from transition. Uh, there's about a hundred meter uh, pathway or a run into transition where if you're doing it individually, um, you, you'll just go in there, take your wetsuit off uh, and grab your bike and your bike equipment, um, putting your helmet on first and um, and then run out onto transition to the mount line where you'll then step onto the bike and start cycling. If you're a relay team, um, you'll tag your person in transition who'll be waiting by the bike and transfer the, the timing chip. And that's how we keep a note of who's out in the course. Um, and they go, they take the same uh, procedure is out to the mount line, across the mount line and onto the bike. And the bike course is, out of a thigh and it, it's straight out the Carlo road. So it's a pretty straight road. There's no real, technically it's, it's straight out in 10 K and turn around and 10 K back. Um, it's relatively flat. There's a few little hills, little, little sort of, um, uh, rolling hills is probably the best way of putting it, you know, up, a little up and down. Um, but no, nothing really that would get you out of the saddle and climb in a climbing sense. Okay. So it's fairly, fairly straightforward. One U turn uh, and you're back into uh, to back into a thigh to uh, dismount before the line and then bring your bike into transition. And then the run is only four k. For some of us, it might be more of a waddle than a run this time around. But uh, getting to the end is all that matters, right? Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, I said that we will have all shapes and sizes, uh, ages, young and old, uh, out there doing the event. Um, and this is what's so much fun, I think, about triathlons, even at the pointy end or at the, the middle and at the back, it's um, it, it's all very inclusive. It, it's sort of people help others along the way. Um, you can be a really strong swimmer and a very poor runner and, you know, vice versa. So there's always a bit of competition around you as well. Um, you're never really left on your own um, in that regard. And with the amount that we have out um, racing on, on, on the Sunday morning with the tri event, um, and then the sprint event uh, later uh, that morning, um, we'll, we'll have about probably in the in the region of sixteen hundred people taking part on the Sunday, and, and likewise on the on the Saturday with the longer events. Um, but the run is starts. You go out the bike course along the along the road, and then it turns off and comes back in. Uh, so it's about two k out, and then it comes back in along a pathway along the the canal and the river uh, back into the town where you you turn over a bridge. Uh, and running towards the finish line. So it's um, yeah, it's a nice run, a bit, bit of tarmac, bit of pathway, um, 2K out, 2K back. That's class. Um, the event itself seems to have taken on a life of its own, notwithstanding the last couple of years of difficulty through COVID. There's just an incredible momentum behind this particular triathlon. Why has it been so successful? I think if you asked the majority of people that have done triathlon in Ireland where their first triathlon was, they, I'd say 
75, 80% of the people would say try a thigh. And I think it's because it's been around for, I think this is our 14th year of our 14th event. So with, with COVID taken into account that 16 years, it's been there and it, it's grown um, over the years. Now this year it's, it's particularly big. And I think that is uh, a rollover factor, you know, of COVID uh, to a degree, but we normally get about two and a half thousand people doing it. And I think it's partly, I would say it's a well-run event and well-organized, but the swim is very safe. Uh, it's guaranteed to go ahead. It's not weather dependent, even on a, a windy, cold, wet day, you're not going to get waves in the river. So it's it's very safe in that regard. Um, you're never really far from the bank. So for anybody who's a poor swimmer or a bit nervous, that's a very reassuring. And we have a lot, a lot of kayaks in the, in the water to help them. And then the other element is we have a, we're very lucky that Kildare County Council and a Thai town council, um, with the help of the guards, give us 40 kilometers of closed road so we can hold the event very uh, in, a, in a very safe environment that nowadays is is can be difficult to get um so we're, we're very lucky to have that um ability to close down the roads for for the morning and and we appreciate sort of <clears throat> a lot of the residents are used to it um and, and um uh, we're happy to say sort of um, ap- uh, apply with it in general uh, one last question so we, we're um obviously doing the the short version on the sunday what's the the most popular one and what's the distance that is most popular amongst most of your participants so uh, overall, we have uh, four uh, distances, um, and the tri event and the double Olympic event, um, and I'll explain the distances there. But uh, they are they they both got about four hundred people entered. The sprint distance and the Olympic distance uh, both have in the region of twelve hundred uh, entered. So the sprint being seven hundred and fifty meters uh, swim. Uh, 20k in the bike and 5k run and then the olympic is double that at 1500 meters uh, on the swim 40k bike and a 10k run um the olympic distance this year is part of the national series which is run by the triathlon ireland which is uh, the federation for ireland for for triathlon um and there's a, a series of, of of events throughout the country where you can score points and the Olympic one in, in triathlon is the national series event. So it's fairly popular in that regard. Um, but the Olympic and the tri usually are the, the two biggest um, uh, volume of, of entries that we get yeah, every year. Well, listen, it has been incredible uh, to see the growth of it over the last 15 years. And uh, this year, if we survive, which I think we probably will, then um, we should all come back next year and do the longer one. And everybody has to do the full thing. I don't know if you know this, John, but one of us, who shall remain nameless, Adrian Barry, is just doing the swim. It's 250 metres. I was saying you can basically pretend that you're like a cork bobbing down the river because the current in the river is going to take you downstream. Yeah, I, like I, I saw your I saw your clip with regard to um, uh, Mr. O'Driscoll as well and sort of like faking that he couldn't swim. I, it, I, again, we could put him in a wetsuit and we'd just push him off the edge. A few points, yeah. Eventually. Um, and claiming he can't run is, you know, it's it's a bit unfair to say that. But in general, look, I, I think the fun factor here is that people, I, I'd be very surprised if anyone who does a section of the triathlon is not regretting the fact that they didn't give another part a go by the end of the day. Um, because I think what they'll see out there is uh, these are not super, super fit people. Like it's It's sort of, we have a very wide... Um, cohort that come that can be fit, unfit, old, young, uh, as I say, male, female, all sort of ages um, and all types of ability and all types of bikes that they get on. Um, it is not one of these super, super competitive events. Um, it, it's the tri events, uh, the sprint event in particular, those those two in triathlon are, are generally um, populated by, I'd say 50 to 60% will be either doing their first triathlon or first, they'll have done many park runs or cycles, but it'll be their first time putting all three together. So there'll be a lot of people out there have just out there to enjoy it. There'll be, you know, 50 or 60 off the front end who will be racing. Um, but other than that, it'll be it'll be more fun than, than anything else. We're looking forward to our participation medals for sure. John, congratulations on running a great event and best of luck over the next couple of weeks in advance of the uh, weekend of the 4th and 5th of June. Cheers. No problem. Thanks, Chair. All the best. Now, a reminder, Team OTB are taking on Triathai. It's all in association 
uh, in partnership rather with Whoop, the personalised digital fitness and health coach that helps you unlock your inner potential. Check out whoop.com for more.